Now I have dilute nitric acid with me and I am going to add blue treatment solution to nitric acid. Let's see what color change takes place. It has become red in color. It means dilute nitric acid turns blue litmus red. Now let's see the effect of red litmus solution on dilute nitric acid. There is no color change means red litmus paste solution remains as it is in dilute nitric acid. Nitric acid we are going to test with the help of universal indicator. So let's see what color we observe in universal indicator it is a dark red color. And nitric acid is a strong acid that's why so it turns universal indicator dark red. Let's test nitric acid with the help of vinyl orange. Now when I add vinyl orange to nitric acid, the color we get is pinkish red. So all acids turn vinyl orange pinkish red. Now we want to see what is the effect of phenolphthalein on nitric acid. When it shows it remains colorless. It means phenolphthalein remains colorless with all acids. Nitric acid we are testing with the help of blue litmus and see the color change. Blue litmus has become red in color. It shows that during all acids turn, including sulfuric acid, blue litmus red. Let's see the effect of red litmus solution on dilute sulfuric acid. Let's observe there is no change in color. It means all acids are not affected by red litmus solution. It remains as it is. We are testing dilute sulfuric acid with the help of universal indicator. I am going to add universal indicator to sulfuric acid and we get bright or dark red color. So all strong acid will give dark red color with universal indicator. I am going to test dilute sulfuric acid with the help of methyl orange. And you will find a change in color, it is again pinkish red. So it means that sulfuric acid turns methyl orange pinkish red. In fact all acids turn methyl orange pinkish red. We are going to see the effect of phenolphthalein on dilute sulfuric acid. You will find we find only milkiness that it remains colorless with dilute sulfuric acid. There is no change in color of phenolphthalein in acid. So all acids remain colorless in with phenolphthalein. We are going to test ammonium hydroxide with the help of red litmus solution. Let's see what change in color we observe. Yes, red litmus has changed to blue in color. But this color is light blue. Why it is light blue? It shows that ammonium hydroxide is a weak base. We are testing ammonium hydroxide solution with the help of universal indicator. See the color change and we have got bluish violet color. So all bases will turn the universal indicator as bluish violet. Let's see the effect of phenolphthalein on ammonium hydroxide. You will find pink color. Ammonium hydroxide has become pink in color with the help of phenolphthalein. But if you keep it for a long time, this pink color will disappear. Why it will disappear? Because ammonium gas will escape into atmosphere and water will be left. So this can also be called as magic color which disappears after some time because ammonium gas escapes and water does not give any color in phenolphthalein. Let's see the effect of methyl orange on ammonium hydroxide. I'm going to add methyl orange in ammonium hydroxide to find yellow in color. So this yellow color shows that methyl orange becomes yellow in color in all bases. See the change in color, there is no change in color, blue litmus remains as it is. It means all bases do not have any effect of blue litmus, it remains as it is.